get down to the YTW element. I know you guys are familiar with that. So, I mean, it's um, pretty much self explanatory. Who wants to be my. Somebody that hasn't done anything yet. You've got to keep everybody away. Bob, come on. I know everything except uh, I've never heard right. of the O's. So All right. <laughs> grab that blue civilian ball there. Ah. All right. Now, why do we use the civilian ball? Not because it's lonely. We use it to eliminate the lumbar from doing the job. If I've got a client that is deficient in their scap region, in other words, activating their scap region, and I have them do, you know, either laying on the floor or doing, you know, the same exercises, they're going to go, especially if they're doing it on their own. If i got a group and they're doing it on their own, they're going to comp they're going to, um, compensate with the lumbar. They're going to, just like that. And they're never going to know just how big of a mess they are in the thoracic. So what we do is we go here, then drape over the ball. My knees are bent, you guys can see this. So I got my knees on the ground. So if I go here, I got the same problem. So I'm here. To there. Now the O that I'm gonna have you do is this one. Hmm. Oh crap. Yeah, I know it's that. It's that. It's that. It's no pain though. See that's the thing. And that's a you find out just how lazy those muscles are when you do a drill like this, because I've already done this a couple times this morning. So it shows you that it's, it's something that you need to be doing on a regular basis. You know, not 10 times a day, but definitely every day. So one, circle around, finish with the thumbs up, and then back. I'll do three with one hand on top, three with the other hand on top, just to keep me honest. Okay, so it's here. All the way and back, and you notice that I'm not able to <coughs> get the lumbar thing going. Okay, let's go through the whole series. Let's do the Y. Now you're rechecking the scapulars every time. Correct. Right? Correct. Good. Let's do four each position. Good job. And remind your clients that their goal is not to just get you good at doing all the drills. You want the drill to be new every time you do it. You want it to be something that you, you don't just fly through and go, okay, I don't need to do that anymore. You want to find new uh, degrees of activation every time you do these activation drills. Where you're able to say, okay, I'm actually finding out more about my body and how it activates is going to be the toughest one. If you have rotator cuff issues, it is for me. This one right here. That's the one I typically want to leave out because it just doesn't feel right. And that's like I'm talking about. If I'm good at all the others, but that one right there. Okay. There you go. Right now, relax here. Retract and then retract and then circle up and around. Oh, yes. Yep. <laughs> Some people call these black burns. I mean, it's a very similar type movement. Wow. Yep. That's tough for me. <laughs> and listen, if you've got a client that's in pain in this, shut it down and just know that that's something that will work towards as far as that goes. I mean, you just make note of that and say, okay, you know, that's, that's a drill, obviously, that we'll be able to use as our, uh, as our baseline of their improvement. Finish with the thumbs up, though. 